Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create this fantastic, I don't know if I should call it flyer inside of Canva, but we are just going to be learning some new tricks and I believe you're going to learn so much from this video. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video and let's get started, okay? So you can see this is the first one I did and I'm just going to start again from scratch. Okay. And I will just link most of the resources I use in the description box below. So that is easy for you to follow. Okay. But what I did first of all was I came to drinkprime.com. Okay. So drinkprime.com and unfortunately this drink i know there's so much hype about it but it's currently not available in ghana okay so i just came on the website and i found you know some pictures from there and that's where i downloaded it from so i came where i think here so i just came here okay and you can see at the checkout page or so once you right click you can just copy the image okay then come to canva and paste it in here you can see we have it over here okay so let's start from scratch so first of all make sure you're coming into element okay element first and i did search for jungle okay so jungle all right and you'd have to go into photos you'll find so many photos in here okay jungle photos and you can just choose any of the ones that you want to work with all right because it's just basically going to use the same strategy but just choose whatever you want okay and i'm going to use this particular one okay so i'll make the image big first of all and just crop it this way so that at least you know we, we have something nice over here so this is what we have at the moment okay by now you should have your prime drinks downloaded okay and um, i have mine in my upload so i'll choose the first one which is prime okay this is i think uh, this one is a cocoa pop or something like that <laughs> okay so i'm going to you know place it somewhere here okay and what we are simply going to do now is we are just going to be adding the arrangement okay just arranging the stuff after we'll now do the color editing and or color grading if that's what we want to call it we'll do that afterwards all right so this is what we have at the moment then i came into element again and search for rocks okay rocks and you can see there's so many rocks in here but this is what i feel would work for us okay so i'll reduce it a little bit okay and this I think it can be reduced or yeah I don't know but I think this is fine okay so something like that and this are the rocks we have at the moment okay so that it just doesn't you know this makes it look like it's actually on the ground but if you take it off from there is it looks like the design just flying in the air okay so that's why we have this over here okay then what we are going to do next is we are going to search for leaves okay so leaves over here and um, this is the one i want the vine plant with green leaves okay you should find that and we are just going to place it on top you know in the jungle there are just so many leaves and things around there so we want to have that kind of effect in there then we can add some extra leaves you know just in case you want there are so many leaves you can add so if you want to also add a few other leaves you can do that okay so you can see just to give it a more interesting look okay then we can right click and add this over here okay if possible if it works for you then you know you can do that but if not then why not okay so what i didn't do this in the initial one but i feel like i can use it here so i can just hide uh -huh, this part of it you know something like this i think makes sense okay then i can take this one off okay so this is what we have at the moment then we'll just duplicate the prime okay again and for this one i think let's use the second one okay so i come to uploads okay and i can just drag and drop it here okay and i'll make it smaller okay and place it over here okay so this one should be inside like that then the next thing we want to do is add some extra leaves in there so come back to element and in the leaves there are so many options and um, you can just choose any one of your choice so i'll use maybe this one first okay and i can add some extra ones like this one oh look at me <laughs> you can add some extra one over here so i'll just rotate this increase the size and you know maybe also just position it here so now that we have these two leaves trying to cover the side 
what we can do is we can move this one over here okay and flip it horizontally so that we have it on the side like this okay then we can make it uh, something like this i think i think it's working it's working like this so this is fine what we can do next is um we can come into element or in search for jeep okay a car and uh, that's what i did okay and I'm, I'm just showing you how i designed it so yeah and i found this option i think there's the same jeep i use okay but since uh, positioned it here <laughs> oh God. position it here and remove the background okay so once we have the background removed you can see how it's looking at the moment so i'll copy it a little bit so that it's easy for me to have access to this particular one okay then we can make it bigger okay and the rotation you know just rotate it until it looks natural okay and i can place it somewhere here because the jeep is coming through okay so something like this i believe is fine okay so i think with the arrangement this is what we need to do and i hope it was very easy in terms of arranging it if at any point you feel like oh the arrangement isn't or is moving i was moving too fast just pause the video and with any instruction i gave pause and do it and play okay so that it's easy but with the next step i'm actually going to take my time to explain it so that you can really understand and what we are simply going to do is going to match all the colors so that everything looks blended together okay so that um it can at least look more realistic and more natural that's what we are going to do and i hope you are ready okay all right so we are going to start with the background okay so i'll click on this background come to edit and what i'm simply going to do is to come to adjust okay then i would reduce the brightness first okay increase the contrast all right okay so the contrast is just um it makes it clear in terms of the blacks and the white it tries to make them very different okay the highlights you know affects the extra lightning in the photo all right and the saturation would be boosted all right and since the color of this is a bit orangey okay what we are simply going to do is first of all let's increase the clarity a little bit then let's come to the temperature and make it warm okay you know yeah so that's all we need then what we are simply going to do is to make everything else match okay so right click on the background click on copy style and just click on the other element okay so copy style click on the other element copy style again the other element and do this for every single element okay with the car you know once you do it for the car the background would come again but you just have to remove the background again okay so i'm going to do it afterwards okay so now i can select this and come here into bg remover and just remove the background all right then we can do it for the stones as well okay so you can see is gradually matching okay but we are going to do some extra editing to some of the images okay or some of the elements so so the first one would be for the stones okay i want to i'll just make them darker okay yeah so darker a little bit which is by reducing the brightness okay so something like that then with this particular one since it's dark and it looks like there's a lot of shadow over here okay which is giving us the impression that the shade over here is covering it so i'm also going to make it darker okay so we can see uh -huh. then what we i think we didn't apply it to this main image okay so copy and let me just paste it over here okay uh -huh. now it looks it looks better now now we are talking now we are talking all right then what we can do next is with these um leaves we can just reduce the brightness okay more so that attention isn't on them easily okay so i'll just do this and do that i'm going to do the same for this one as well okay so we can see how it's looking all right and even with the leaf on top we are going to do the same for it all right nice one what you're going to do next is with this particular jeep okay i'll reduce the brightness for it more and the come to the drink again the one behind we are going to add some blur to it okay so blur we have the brush and we have whole image okay so choose whole image and increase the intensity to maybe 34 should work fine okay something like this now come back to element and the 
in French, how would you say it? Element or I I don't know. Just let me know if you speak French. Just in case you speak French, how do you call element in French? Is it element? Because I know for Spanish it will be elementos, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, so we are going to search for shadow. Okay, so the shadow and we come to graphics. And there's a particular one I usually prefer. Uh huh. This one, which is um, it's also called black gradient, but it's more of like a curved shadow. Okay, so we just place it over here, just beneath the one behind, so that everything looks better. Okay. So I think yes, it's working. Now we have to fix this Jeep. Okay. Uh, this looks so artificial. So what we are going to do is to press R on our keyboard. Okay. For a shape, change the color to black. Okay. Then you can rotate it something like this and position it here. Okay. Then you can see what I'm doing and just send it behind the Jeep. Okay. So something like this should be okay. All right. Then we can choose any other shadow okay of the jeep so you can see we have this shadow we can use so you can just you know, rotate it like this and place it in fact let me just do it uh -huh. so just place it beneath the tire okay so like this uh, i should go behind okay natural like that and you can see what we have at the moment okay to make it look at least it looks better now what we are simply going to do now we want to make it more dramatic okay so we are going to add this shape and this is optional for you okay and we choose the black again but click on it again okay then come to gradient the first color should be black the second color should also be black okay but come to the transparency slider and slide it all the way down okay then make sure you're rotating it to negative 90 degrees and position it here and lift it here okay so that at least it covers the bottom part of this more then what we can also do is we can increase this okay just like this and place it somewhere here okay and this can go behind the leaf or the drinks depending on how you want it to be so any any how you want it to be but i think like this it also works okay yeah what we can do is we can add some text in here okay so we can press t on our keyboard and we can simply say prime okay so p-r-i-m-e hydration okay now make it all caps okay then the color would also set the color to white okay so that it's here like that then with a particular flavor i don't know which flavor this is I, yeah dream pop dream pop i think i got to call it the first time so what we're going to do over here is come to apps okay come to apps and under app search for extrude okay you should see type extrude click on it and it should open beautifully for you and all you have to do is to type the flavor in here so this is dream pop okay dream pop and we are going to change the font okay there are so many fonts in here and you can choose any one but i'll choose the acony one over here okay then i go back and i'm going to change the color i want the color to be orange okay then the back should be black okay so something like that then what i'll do is i'll increase the border and we can increase the length a little bit okay and the angle depending on how you want it to be you can do it for it okay then this one i'm going to make it to you know totally black okay something like that add to design okay so you can see it's been added so i'll delete the second text over there and bring this one over here okay it should be centered all right then we bring this one here like this so i'll increase the size of this a little bit and i would center then do this okay this already centered so we can see what we have been able to create inside of canva how did you find it i hope you found it easy i hope you found it very interesting okay and um just i would love to see your version of this share it on instagram tag me so that i can see it and um, let's celebrate these designs okay so if you are on the free version of canva i have a link down there that can help you if you're looking for a vibrant design community i have my community and i want to personally invite you because we get to do a lot monthly workshops group design challenges and so much more okay so i hope to see you there the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace